Hello? Oh, that looks like it hurts a lot. Are you injured? Do you need assistance? You died, Tinkerbell! I hate you. <laughs> what we're about to cover here, it, it's something monumental, uh, for lack of a better word. It's something that has stuck with me and my friends and, you know, thousands upon thousands of other people for the past 13 years at this point, well over a decade. Um, you know, to us, we call it a masterpiece filled with wonderful campaigns and multiplayer experiences for years to come. And, well, for everyone else, they call it Halo. Azure Flame 92 here, and we're talking Halo today for a very special occasion. Now, before we get into that though, Halo was a franchise created by Bungie and has been acquired by 343 Industries in the more so recent years, uh, starting with Halo 4. Um, things that we need to cover about it though is that it's a franchise that's existed since 2001 and has been, you know, it's been going on ever since then, you know, with its first game that has led to multiple sequels, direct sequels to what it is, and then several different spin-offs uh, made over the years, kind of in between the initial release dates of each main game. And the reason today that we're even talking about this is because this year, in just a few hours actually, is the release of, you know, the Master Chief Collection which is something very special to uh, to a lot of us because it contains the four mainline Master Chief story storylines and multiplayer from the original uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, let's see, uh, to kind of go over it, um, well, Halo is about this really cool super soldier, genetically engineered super soldier, fighting to defend Earth because he's the last of his kind and you have these aliens that are pretty much trying to wipe us all out and it's, it's cool because it's evolved so much over the years uh, since its initial release and has seen many changes not significant like major gameplay changes but introduced some really cool concepts that have stuck uh, ever since then I I it's amazing to me because I've pretty much been a gamer all my life I practically picked up a controller when I was like two or three years old and you know started out on the Nintendo and I think that's what really captivated me when it came to Halo is that it was so unlike anything I've been used to because I grew up on you know Mario and, and Pokemon and uh, you know some Zelda too I didn't get into Zelda till later but I'm, I'm digressing a bit here anyways the key thing is that it just seems so different with its vibrant colors and you know really cool uh, features the multiplayer was the thing that really got me into it is because you know multiplayer was always just on a console but for me when I first saw Halo it was this really great thing that actually allowed for uh, the ability to system link your consoles and you know and then with that, I didn't get the chance to actually own Halo until Halo 2. I only got the chance to get introduced to it thanks to some really good friends of mine. Me and my brother got the chance to, you know, get the full-on multiplayer experience when we were kids. Actually seeing four consoles and four TVs and played with 16 people, it was incredible. But uh, years later, we finally got our hands on Halo 2, the sequel itself, and there was something entirely new that got introduced thanks to that, you know, Xbox Live. Uh, Halo 2 is what pioneered that, and, you know, as we got older over the years, we couldn't exactly get together all the time and hook up consoles, so it allowed us to have opportunities just like this. I just know Rich, Rich, Snipers is Richard's favorite game type. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I love it so much that I, I, I just would want to, you know, snuggle it to death. <laughs> or I could suffocate it with a pillow. <laughs> oh, this looks dangerous. Team heavies. Are you, are you recording right now? Is this room recording? Oh, it's recording. It's recording my voice. It's recording your voices. It's recording this awesome tastic footage in full 1080. You're gay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all the big toys. All the big moves. No! Richard, how could you? Oh my god, man, he's dead. 
He woke up one morning and his arm was really sore. I'm talking that. about your oh. driver. Look at that. Something I'm requiring you to play is, uh... You have kill. That's all I was on. Man, I come at you. Oh no! Well guys, I think it's dead. Yeah, I think I just received over kill. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like the muzzle that you use to masturbate, that's what I was doing. Fuck you, Dano. Jesus. Right. How? I'm sorry, Hans, I love you. Oh yeah! There's always choice. Oh, oh. oh, that was a little awkward. Oh. 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 But who did give me your numbers back in there? God damn it, Richard! Keep away from me! Hey, can we guys let me assassinate you? Oh. Oh. Wait, I want to be a passenger! No! I want to be a passenger! No! Ah. That is so cute! That was cute! Kill everything! Kill assist! Oh my god, I killed the one! Well put, Matt! Got him! Warfare. This is ultimate warfare! Oh no! I lived a good life. <laughs> I am extremely grateful that this franchise has carried on for as long as it has. Um, mostly because its multiplayer was always the most unique thing to me. It's what introduced, uh, you know, introduced me and introduced my brother, introduced all my friends for the most part to first person shooters. There were a few of us that have played other games prior to that, but it's just Halo captivated in a way that none others have even managed remotely uh, to do so prior or since then, honestly. And I think, to me, that the magic behind that comes from the fact that not only did it have a great multiplayer experience because you know Halo 2 was like the best selling game on the original Xbox console because everyone was playing it on Xbox Live but Halo also had a really fun and deep storyline in its campaign and you know it's really hard in my opinion to find games with both a great campaign experience and a great multiplayer experience all bundled into one and that's what we got out of it I mean we've spent years you know playing over Xbox Live, and then whenever we have had the chance to be available, we'd get together and actually hook up our consoles, and, you know, we did that quite a bit with, like, Reach at the time, and, and 3, we used to do that all the time with 3, I used to have my best friends over, and, you know, they'd stay the night, and we'd just stay up all night playing Halo, and just goofing off over Xbox Live, and meeting new people who also had a shared interest in the franchise, and, you know, just, it, it was fun, actually being able to see just how many people shared our interest and and uh, took it as seriously as we did or you know maybe in some instances a little bit more comical but you know it's still it's still sharing the love yes <laughs> halo has been special to all of us i remember when three was about to come out and how uh we talk about it at school and one of my friends um actually got it uh well before uh the rest of us did. He got a 360 and 3, and I was just mesmerized with how great it looked. And the same went for Reach and 4 even when those came out. But Reach was special to me because that was the first midnight release I ever got the chance to go to. So I have a lot of great memories thanks to Halo and sharing it with all my friends. And it's just great to know that we all feel the same way. But you don't have to take my word for it. So what got me into Halo is 
when I was younger, uh, my dad and I were actually playing it. I actually attribute Halo into making me a gamer because I had played a bunch of FPSs, like uh, most of the Rainbow Sixes, and I really loved them, but I didn't, I didn't connect to them as much as I did uh, to Halo. Um, my dad was like, hey, come on, let's go play this game. And we started playing it, and it was Halo 1, and I just, I fell in love. Um, I remember whenever he'd come home from a long day at work, he'd like, he'd sit down, and he'd be like, okay, we're gonna get through this level, and we'd start playing, and we'd just have a blast. I fell in love with the characters, Master Chief and Cortana, and like, we just, we couldn't put it down. And then I remember Dad saying, oh hey, that game you liked? They're making another one. And Halo 2 is actually the first game I went to a midnight release for. Um, it was amazing. It blew my mind that you could steal other people's vehicles that you could dual wield. It, it was just amazing. And I remember getting really, really good with um, uh, dual needlers. They were so OP. <laughs> um, and I spent so much of my time in Halo 2. Halo 2 is my favorite in the franchise. Um, just falling further and further in love with Master Chief and Cortana, and I am apparently one of the few people who actually liked playing as the Arbiter, because I thought he looked like a cute little gecko. <laughs> um, I thought the Grave Mind was just, like, super cool and creepy, and you didn't want to trust him for good reasons. Um, I actually went through and read the books. Um, I, I haven't read any of the newer books. I believe I stopped reading somewhere after the Harvest book, I think. Um, but I I like that 343 has done more with the series. I like Spartan Ops is really cool. I like that they keep adding red versus blue. That's another big thing that I liked about it. Um, I, to this day, am a huge Red vs. Blue fan. Tex is my girl. Halo was an in is an innovator in arena shooters, and it was never meant to be a tactical shooter. It was never meant to, to be Call of Duty. Um, and I would be really happy to see it go back to its roots, but I'm I'm willing to see where they go with Halo 5. I'm not going to pick it up myself initially, but I have trusted friends that that are going to play it, and I will see how they feel about it. I mean, honestly, the only thing I'm a little worried about is they have Master Chief in a cloak and power armor. <laughs> the... The breakdown in logic there is kind of weird, but I'm I'm willing to see where it goes. I I'm hopeful. The Master Chief Collection looks really fun. All the the clips I've seen of it look amazing. So I I'm really excited. I would like to like to get a hold of those and play those and relive a little nostalgia. I am a very fortunate person. Uh, I actually started playing Halo from the very beginning, meaning that in November of 2001, my uncle actually bought an Xbox. And up until that point, I'd never played a next-gen console. I had no idea what the Xbox was. I wasn't, I was a kid, so I didn't really watch a whole lot. I didn't watch a whole lot of TV then. I didn't know the advertising. I didn't know what the Xbox was. And then when it came out, my uncle bought one and a copy of Halo to go along with it. And I remember going over to his house and watching him play it, and then he let me try it. 
and I fell in love with it instantly. I mean, this was this was 13 years ago. You know what I mean? This was this was such a long time ago to me now. But like, it is just absolutely amazing to me, like how long ago it was. But I still love this game. And I the reason I fell in love with it, the reason I fell in love with Halo was just everything. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. I fell in love with everything. I, I love the characters. I love the story, the music, the multiplayer. I fell in love with the story arc and just how emotional and how much it pulled you in. And like, the game had this amazing ability to make you feel like you were the only one that could do something about this horrible thing that was happening what with the Covenant and the Prophets and all that. And it was just absolutely incredible. I know that millions of people played it, but when I picked up Halo, it made me feel like I was the only badass in the universe that could stop this catastrophe. And also the multiplayer, my friends and I, just all the countless memories of my friends and I just getting together, piling TVs and Xboxes and hooking it all up in some weird Frankenstein looking chord combination to play Halo with each other and just jab each other, call each other names, wiping the Cheetos off of our hands, ordering pizza. Like that is the, some of the best times in my life and I would never trade those memories for anything on this world. And it is just amazing that even 13 years later, my friends and I still do this. And I think we'll keep doing it as long as Halo still exists. And I think we'll do it even long after the series ends. And that's why I love Halo. It is a bonding experience and it is amazing story, music. It's pleasing to all senses and it is just absolutely incredible experience. Every time you pick it up, no matter how many times you've played it. And that's the reason that I still play, and that's the reason I will always continue to play this game. I'm so excited for the Master Chief Collection and Halo 5, because I know that it is just going to continue that tradition of what ke has kept my friends and I so entertained and so emotionally attached to this game over the last, you know, 13 years, and what will continue to keep us attached to it for the next 13 years, because I really do think that we will always love Halo, I know I'll always love Halo, and we will always play it, and we'll always play it together. My first experience with Halo was with my friends. I couldn't afford a, a console at the time, so one of my friends that had an Xbox also had Halo, um, when, probably when it came out, and that was the first multiplayer experience that I had. Um, I played other games in the genre before, but that was the first game that was really felt very immersive to me, especially for the fact that I could play with my friends. At the time that I was playing multiplayer with my friends, I didn't even understand, I didn't know any of the lingo, I didn't know what, what the maps were called, it was just another game to me at first. And then as the series of games went on, it's like, oh, there's another one? Okay, I'll get that one. And I still don't really know all the maps or anything like that. I've, mostly what, what really interests me in Halo is the immersive quality of the story. Um, I generally really like uh, to follow storylines along. Occasionally I still play multiplayer when I have this, a friend available on my busy schedule. But uh, for the most part, from, from game to game, I've always followed the story and it, I, I never seem to question the story as I go along is just experience it. I think what I am most looking forward to in, in the future of the franchise in general, um, I'm, I'm trying not to have any preconceptions about what they might do. I just want to experience. I just want everything to just keep coming, keep being immersive um, and to to really be to really be an experience, really, I think is what I'm trying to get at. I just try not to have preconceptions about games on what it's going to be about. I just want to follow along. Just to be there alongside the other characters, mostly Master Chief in general, but just to feel like I'm a part of that. So you see, we all have a a shared appreciation for everything we've done so far and you know and what's to come especially now with the master chief collection coming out and you know really really soon now i'm excited for it because you got blur here who made these amazing cinematics in halo wars in the past making the new cinematics for halo 2 anniversary and then also just being able to see how the game originally looked you know like halo 1 here and how its anniversary counterpart looked and it's exciting because these classic games are getting the full hd treatment with you know 60 frames per second 
second, full 1080 HD. I mean, it's incredible to see how much time and effort went into this to shape it into what it is now. And the Master Chief Collection, like I said earlier, comes bundled with the four campaigns and multiplayer experiences, as well as the anniversary updated looks for Halo 1 and Halo 2, the complete anniversary overhaul treatment for those two. And it's all bundled together into just this one major Halo theme conglomerate. Now, there's not much else I can say other than, you know, my final attempt to convince you otherwise. I'm going to show you a trailer, so check out the launch trailer for the Master Chief Collection. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Well, everyone, this is why myself and my friends have grown to love Halo for what it is over the past 13 years now. And like, like, uh, like a couple of my friends said, we're excited to see where this goes, and hopefully we'll be playing Halo for the next 13 years as it continues to evolve. And I hope to see you guys on there, too, if you get the chance to buy it, as well as don't forget to buy a one, too. But until then, farewell. Hey viewers, if any of you are still watching at this point, I thank you for watching this Halo tribute of mine all the way till the very end. And now that you're here, I'd like to direct your attention toward a few other really, you know, amazing videos that you can check out while you got some time. Um, we've done some goofy Halo videos of our own in the past, you can take a look at those two up there. Uh, one's a machinima, one's a stop motion, and our most recent short film production over here is parodying a, a film known as Birdemic, you might know what that is. And then if you're interested in other video game related content, be sure to check out my Let's Plays of Super Mario Sunshine and Majora's Mask down there. Especially Majora's Mask, I'm sure you heard the big news at this point as well about the remake for that coming out in the spring, so be sure to check those out, I definitely appreciate it, so, um, yeah, I hope to see you on these other videos.